good story in how you first met Janet? Yes, uh, Janet was cast in Touch of Evil after I, of course, was on it and Orson was directing it. And uh, I think the interesting story is that uh, Janet broke her wrist uh, not long before we started, which that makes it very complicated, but they uh, put a detachable cast on her and she wore, a, a, I forget whether it was a sweater or a blouse that covered it. And it must have, she must have been in some pain, but she never, never complained. And uh, if it was a very close angle, they would even take the cast off. And then, of course, in the course of the shoot, she recovered. But I always uh, admired that uh, uh, as a sterling, sterling example of professionalism. Can you describe an incident that occurred during the production of Touch of Evil that would give me a good insight into what it was like to work with her? You mean you want to do that Yeah, again? can, can yeah. we, because okay. we had the noise. Well, just before shooting began in the film, uh, Janet, uh, I believe working on another film, uh, fell and broke her wrist. And of course she had to have a cast on it, which severely complicated the shooting. But she was very gutsy about it. She never complained, though she must have been in some pain. And um, when, for example, they were doing the scene in the motel where she's in her uh, a slip and obviously had bare arms, um, they even took the cast off, uh, which must have been even more painful. But she never uh, made any objection, and it was a good example of uh, professionalism. Well... Of course, if you remember the film, we're separated during most of the film. We don't have many scenes together. After the first scene where the car blows up, the, uh, the what is still described as the greatest Chapman boom shot in the history of movies, um, which could be done easily now with a Python boom. You don't even need an operator on the, on the camera. But uh, that was a, a technically very difficult and required uh, complex timing and took all night to shoot. And uh, actors are used to working all night. But again, uh, actresses sometimes are not used to working all night, uh, at least not making a movie. <laughs> and uh, Janet never uttered a word of complaint, was always, as I've never seen her otherwise, uh, good-humored, uh, outgoing, uh, available, and uh, professional. I, um, myself, came in to film a little later than that, after the, in essence, the studio system was over. Uh, Janet must have been one of the last fruits of the classic studio system that prevailed through the 30s and 40s. And uh, I can well imagine why. She is clearly, uh, the camera loves her. That's, uh, this is, people don't understand that. Uh, doesn't have a lot to do with acting ability, though that's useful, or beauty or handsomeness, though that's useful. Depends on whether the camera loves you. And the camera loved Janet, obviously. And that was, uh, she was clearly would be signed by the first major studio that saw her. Um, the casting in uh, Touch of Evil was unusual casting for her and uh, somewhat of a surprise to the rest of us. And the fact that she fell so readily into um, a much darker kind of film than she had done theretofore, I think, um, shows her flexibility. Was that Orson Welles' choice? Did he have a... I think it was the studio's choice, which Orson recognized as, as a good idea. I didn't have approval on that casting and wouldn't have uh, objected to it in any event. 